This is the last box Overkill Box Guitar Effects Pedal. This box provides a clean or distorted boost. This box is handmade by me, Frank Redley, and each one is somewhat unique. I am a degreed and licensed professional electrical engineer who designed this box. The concept of this box is a real game changer. Since unlike most boost effects pedals which can output the audio signal voltage range of up to about 5 volts, the last box will provide up to about a 20 volt range. This will provide you a lot more power and volume and will overdrive your amp. The last box also has special filtering shaping characteristics to provide your guitar a great tone. If you are an aggressive rock guitarist and want to outdo your peers and sound better and louder than them, then this box is for you. If you are an acoustic, jazz, or classical player, this box provides you a clean, powerful sound that will amplify your guitar's finer sound quality characteristics. The last box will make your bad equipment sound better. The last box will make your good equipment sound great. It is called the last box because it is recommended to make this last box in your chain of pedal effects. However, it is up to you to experiment. Normally, boost and distortion is placed as the first box in the chain, but because of the overdrive capabilities of the last box, it is recommended to make it the last box in the chain. I put a warning on the box to make sure your amp can handle the higher voltage. If it can't, just don't turn up the volume too high on the last box. I haven't had any problems so far blowing out any amps, but I'm guessing if you're very aggressive, be careful not to blow out your amp as the last box may provide you with that unlimited capability. The last box can run off a 9 volt battery or a standard 9 volt pedal board power. I'll show you that right here. For external power, the ground is the center top and the plus 9 volts is the outer contact of the plug. Do not exceed 10 volt DC for external DC power. When connecting the input plug, that action will turn the power on the last box. So it's recommended to disconnect the last box input when using battery power to avoid dra draining the 9 volt battery. See when I pull it off, the, it inactivates. The 9 volt battery life is expected to be last at least 50 hours when an alkaline battery is used. When the effect is active, the LED on the last box will illuminate. The last box is all analog and has a true bypass when the effect is not active. The gain knob can provide up to 500 volts per volt, that's 54 dB a gain. When the gain knob is turned up, it will saturate the op amp and clip the signal, thereby providing a distorted signal. When the gain knob is turned down, it provides a clean boost that is not saturated. The tone knob provides a high Q, high pass filter. When turned down, it allows the bass content to pass through. When turned up, it provides great treble content. It is recommended to use this knob to tune the effect to the desired tone. The volume knob can provide up to 3 volts per volt, that's 10 dB a gain. It is also used to provide attenuation. When playing a distorted signal with the gain knob turned up, it is recommended to use the volume knob to attenuate the signal to prevent too much overdrive to your amp. When the gain knob is turned down playing a clean signal, it is recommended to turn the volume knob up if greater clean boost is desired. The overall gain potential is 1500 volts per volt, that's 64 dB a gain.